all right what's up with it do welcome back to my channel this is your girl black lacquer and this week we are going to be um doing the black lacquer reads not necessarily the book review part but i want to share some books with you but before we get started on that i need to tell you how much i appreciate you watching my videos i thank you for subscribing me if you had and if you haven't subscribed i still appreciate you watching so i always have a story honey always so on wednesdays i do cocktails and chit chat on facebook live and we're on there and we have our cocktails and then we have a chat about whatever it is we want to chat about at that particular moment so a couple of weeks ago we were having a discussion and i mentioned a method of manifestation that i had done that worked for me and a couple of weeks later, I get a message from one of the ladies who was on the live saying, hey, I tried that method that you spoke about on your live and I manifested a thousand dollars. So I'm like, whoa, like I'm really excited. Now I'm really excited when stuff happens for me, but when it happens for somebody else, I'm super, super stoked. So a couple of days later, she messaged me again and she was like, hey, I actually manifested a specific amount. And I guess she's like trying it out to see if it works. So it worked. It was something ridiculous, like 223.35 or some like really crazy number. And she said, I got to admit that I did have a little doubt that it would even work, but I, it really does. And I'm like, yeah, it really does. But it's all in the mindset. So, um... She wanted to know about some other methods that she can use. And there's lots of ways that you can you can manifest. You can use what I had told them about was the water method. But, I mean, you can do vision boards. You can do affirmations. You can write down in your journal. Like, there's like tons of things that you can do. So, what I wanted to do as I was cleaning out my... Um, my books i cannot wait until we move so i can have a library again but anyway i was going through my books and i found some books that i thought would be interesting so i decided i would share them and then i would um share the video to my page on facebook so the first book will be the secret i mean come on why wouldn't it be and um i don't i don't have that book but i was told that you can watch it on youtube but i have watched it on netflix and actually somebody did a watch party on facebook um the other week and i i was um on there and i happened to catch it so i watched it then so you can get the book you can catch it on youtube or you can catch it on netflix and you can watch the documentary then there's this book the secret the power and um i really like that book and then there's this one creative visualization which you use your imagination to create what you want in your life and it has some uh exercises in the book for you to do see i, I underline i really don't like underlining and writing in books but you see what i did what did i underline Ah, okay. So, the next book is Manifest Moment to Moment. And there are eight principles in this book to help you create the life that you desire. And um, there's also some exercises in this book. Now, um, I did not finish this book. And this book touched a little bit on uh, chakras too. And I was kind of like intimidated by the, the chakras. Like, I, I read about them before or whatever, but I kind of like, yeah, I um, I put it down. But I am going to go back and revisit. I'm probably going to go back and revisit all of these books. Um, This one by Pam Grout is E cubed. I have E squared on Audible this book um gives you a lot to gives you a lot of information on energy because we are energy right 
and there's a lot of experiments that you can do. Actually, when E squared first came out um, some years ago on Facebook, I did the energy experiments from that book with a group of people on Facebook because I wanted to see if we all got the same thing. Um, I also did a different energy experiment, but I don't have time to discuss that one right there. But yeah, this it's a really good, um, really good book that basically um, it helps to prove that manifestation works. So I definitely would get the E Square and the EQ book. Now I also recommend affirmations. Um, you can get those on Audible where you can listen to them. You can listen to them on YouTube. Uh, I have some on Audible, but I do listen to them on YouTube from time to time. And um, you can get them depending on what you want them for, like to raise your self-esteem, for your career, uh, financial, just whatever it is you choose to do. So you can do that. Now on YouTube, I recommend... Uh, I have some of these books on Audible too. Esther and Abraham Hicks. Like, how can I not recommend them? But like, I would watch every single video that they uh, have on YouTube with them uh, speaking about it. I absolutely love them. Absolutely recommend that. If you don't get any of these books, go to YouTube and listen to those videos. I'm telling you. So, um... And the last one is Louise Hay or The Hay House. I'm pretty sure you can find some things on there. That's kind of like what got me started like years ago when I read her book, That You Can't Heal Your Life. Um, I started to think about, you know, the law of attraction. But I'm going to tell you what happens. Like when you are raised a particular way and you are taught certain things and none of it was this, then you tend to kind of have a little doubt about it. Um, it's tricky, but once you get in the mindset and once you can, um, stay in that mindset, it really works. The trick is getting there and staying there. Now, I'm pretty sure that some of you have manifested a whole lot of things in your life. Some good, some bad. You didn't even realize that you manifested them, but you did. So if you can manifest those things just think back to try to see what it was that you were so focused on that you really got maybe it was a job it could have been a spouse or something like that and then think about how you were feeling you have to be positive you have to be positive but think about how you were feeling when that thing um when you got that particular thing or when that particular thing happened to you okay so i'm going to put the links to the books in the description box so you can find them and the next video i'm going to share with you some books that will help you to heal okay so i am out until next time i'll talk to you later peace and toodles